Well, before the next rainstorm or snowstorm comes in here in southern Idaho, whatever it is we're going to get uh, later on this evening and all day tomorrow, winds are going to blow at 35 to 45. I wanted to get up uh, on the roof real quick, just take a look at the slide outs and uh, see if I uh, am going to need to be doing any work. And I'm kind of balancing on the ladder. And uh, we'll take a look at this drip strip. Somebody uh, had one uh, posted on there and uh, we'll zoom in. And you can see that uh, the uh, sealant on this drip strip runs all the way up into uh, the salon wall where the slide goes in. And then that will slowly pan uh, moving outward to the end of the slide. And you can see that uh, all the sealant looks good. And you can see the Eternabon repair that uh, we made. Uh, was it last year or two years ago? We'll zoom back out a little bit. And uh, we're looking forward now and uh, looking for any evidence of any screws that would have popped back up. We see none. And you can see that after two years, uh, yeah, it was two years ago that I redid this uh, Eternabon all the way across uh, from end to end. There are no screws popped up uh, anywhere on this slide. And you can see the Eternabon tape is nice and adhered. And so that we know we're not going to have uh, any issues with any water leaks. And so uh, that's what you want to be looking at. We'll take a close look right here. I don't see any issues with this. And like I say, this is Eternabon tape I put on two years ago over the original. And I did that after I cleaned off the old uh, uh, four inch wide Eternabon tape. And uh, trying to balance myself on one leg with my knee up here on the, the roof. Probably not the smartest thing for a 68 year old guy to do, but you know, if I do a swan dive off here, I got insurance so the wife will be happy. But uh, I just want to show you what to look for. And uh, one more time, we'll come right back down here as close as I can get. And you can see the uh, TPO covering uh, on the slide out roof wraps over and comes down. And then you'll see a drip strip. That's the uh, dark piece of metal. And what you want to be looking for is make sure you've got a good bead all the way across there. If that bead is cracked, uh, the sealant is cracked on the edge of that. And what you want to use is non-sag lap sealant on that vertical edge. Do not, and I'll say again, do not use uh, the self-leveling cement like uh, you see up here on this uh, mushroom cap. If you use the self-leveling uh, sealant uh, down on this vertical edge, you're not gonna be happy because all it's gonna do is it's gonna try to level itself and it's gonna run all the way down uh, the side of your uh, slide. So use the non-sag on any vertical uh, edges. We'll take one quick more look. Uh, I'm not gonna get up on this roof. Uh, it's only 39 degrees, but uh, we'll take a quick look-see here at the edge of the TPO on the roof as it wraps over. And uh, just from what I can see, I don't see anything that uh, it's gonna cause me any concern. And what I'm looking at, and I'll point to it, I'm looking at this sealant bead that's laying right in here. And uh, when I wash this roof off uh, in another month or two, when it warms up, uh, it'll look a lot cleaner and I'll reinspect it, of course. But uh, uh, the roof looks uh, awfully darn good uh, for sitting since October. It's had as much as uh, a foot of snow on top of it and ice. And uh, I don't see any uh, reason for concern. And uh, we can see that the uh, birds have been uh, busy already dive bombing it. So uh, I'll get up here with my uh, hose. I don't use a pressure washer. I use a hose, a bucket of water uh, with a couple of squirts of Dawn soap and a, a long uh, uh, collapsible lightweight uh, uh, handle with an RV soft brush uh, that's about 12 inches wide and it makes easy work of this. I can clean this entire roof off probably in 30 minutes uh, 
you know, 68 year old guy, I, I bring my coffee up here uh, when I'm doing the roof. Uh, so I'll take a break. I'll do, a, I usually do the roof in uh, uh, one quarter section at a time. I'll start from the front and work my way back and uh, I'll wet everything down and then I'll start scrubbing up front and then rinse a section off, move back and repeat till I'm all the way here to the back end. But uh, just wanted to give you uh, a heads up on these slides and uh, so hopefully I've answered any questions that you might have uh, on uh, this drip uh, strip that uh, you'll have on the, the back edge of your slide out wall and the front edge of your slide out wall. And it's about an inch, maybe two inches uh, down from where the TPO uh, roof membrane wraps uh, over and is held in place by that uh, drip strip and of course is sealed. So that's all from the Alpine guy for today. We'll say, uh, top of the afternoon and uh, wherever you might be have a good weekend hope the diesel fuel prices don't continue to go up i fear that they probably will some but uh, hopefully it'll all settle out and things will get back to normal here one day take care